Hey guys, it's Rosie, and you're listening to The Revolution Podcast with Rosie Revolts. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my two-week fitness transformation and body image because I believe that it's really something important that should always be positive in everybody's life. I have decided to embark on a little fitness journey while I'm at home social distancing and have had enough time to kind of, you know, do some self-care and everything. Um... I am not doing this to change my body at all. I'm doing this to stay healthy, happy, and hopefully gain some confidence along the way. It's not that I'm not confident. You know, there's always room for more confidence, I feel like, at least definitely with me. So here's a little disclaimer because I know um, body image is a very controversial topic. Um, Every body type is beautiful. You are beautiful no matter what you look like. Um, Not everybody has to look like an Instagram model. You don't have to look like that to be pretty. Everybody is beautiful in their own way, like I said. It's very important to love your body because it does amazing things, and you need to treat it that way, and if you don't treat it with the respect that it deserves, then it might not perform everything the way it needs to. So definitely be kind to your body. Um, There might be something that you don't like about your body, and that's completely normal, but that feature is what makes you your own unique, beautiful person. So there's no need to change it or hate it or whatever. Feel like society is forcing you to hate it. Just love it because that's what makes you you. Um, There is nothing wrong with setting goals for things that you can change through fitness and a healthy lifestyle. Um, Just make sure you aren't pushing your body too hard because that's um, something that can have negative effects. So you definitely have to have a good balance between, you know, taking time for yourself, um, exercising versus, um, you know, eating healthy, everything. Um, Balance is one of the most important things when it comes to having a healthy lifestyle. You need to make sure you're exercising enough, eating well, drinking lots of water, and getting enough sleep to see results if you want results. You also need to give it time because it's impossible to see results overnight, which is kind of what I learned throughout this whole challenge. I know um, I will get into that more later. Um... Also, I'm not a health professional, so my advice is only advice, and everybody is different, so I'm just telling you about my experience. Your body could be very different than mine, because everybody is in a different situation. Um, so, let's get into it. Um, I wanted to do this fitness journey, um, I was inspired by several people on YouTube doing it, so I was like, you know, I'm just going to try my best. If it doesn't work out, then whatever, I will still be exercising and staying healthy. Um, I was not looking for any specific results, just to feel better, like I said. Um, I have been trying to do 10-minute ab workouts on YouTube every day. I do weightlifting, which I can go into a little bit more detail if you like later on in the episode. Um, I also run two miles every day um, as often as I can, but a little bit later um, on one of the days, I get into a little bit more why I had to slow down running a little bit, but I definitely have been active every single day of this challenge, and it actually turned out into much longer than two weeks. So let's get into the day by day. So I think I wrote down about every three days in the two weeks. And then just after that, I'm going to give you a overview of what happened after that. So on day one, I had to walk a decent amount on my run. Um, I go on this exact same route every time. And so on my road, um, there's it's like a half mile to a cul-de-sac which is kind of hilly so I run the first half mile then I walk like 100 feet just to let my heart rate get down and catch my breath and then I run down and all the way around the loop almost and that's like about a half mile then I walk about 100 200 feet not very much and then I run up all the way to where like the lollipop is on the cul-de-sac um and then I walk another 100 200 feet whatever and after that I run the rest so I basically run the whole thing um and it usually takes me about hmm, let me think probably like 16 17 minutes and it's a bit over 
two miles i think it's 2.3 2.4 something like that so i it is a re- pretty decent time i haven't run like cross country since um last fall not 2019 2018 though and before that i ran the year before so i did used to be a pretty into it you know pretty into running but i've kind of gotten away from it because it kind of ruined running for me um the way i thought of running was kind of like how i hate running on the treadmill and i don't know what it is about running on the treadmill i just hate it so much um but i like running outside so much more i think it's just because i get to see the wildlife every day i see something new um sometimes people's dogs are out sometimes there's um blue jays cardinals bunnies um i've seen deer i think i saw not a it could have been a fox i think i saw a fox one day yeah um i don't know it's just pretty cool to get out at 6 30 in the morning it's very refreshing i really enjoy it and i um if you guys are active i would encourage you start running even if you you know running outside is not as bad as running inside so let's move on further on to day one so i modified the ab workout um that i did to be more gentle on my hips because i don't know what is wrong with my hips but whenever i extend my leg like um whenever i like lift it up from if i'm standing and i pick up my right leg my hip pops and if it pops too many times like if i continue doing that it becomes very painful for a while so i really have been trying to not do that in all my workouts and my dad has been trying to figure out what exactly is wrong with my hip whether it's just muscles so I've been extra training my hip muscles and stuff all around there to try to stop that from hurting I don't really know exactly uh, what we're gonna find out there but hopefully nothing major is wrong and hopefully it can just be fixed by some strengthening um but I took some measurements and photos just because I like to see progress even if I don't it's pretty motivating to see where you were in the beginning and just see how much better you feel even if it isn't physical progress um I wasn't really sure if I was able to complete the challenge because I was feeling pretty tired after it was a lot because I have been doing lots of sports but nothing like a whole bunch of cardio then a whole bunch of exercise it's been more um, chill. I'm not um, pushing myself so much in my regular regiment, so this was a bit different than normal. Um, I still hated running. I was out of breath all the time. It was just pretty hard for me, and it was also like 25 degrees out, so I can understand why it was um, so hard on me. Now, I will not go out running unless it's at least over 30 degrees because 25 I just cannot it's so cold and you can't breathe the wind is like in your face like I don't know I feel like you're gonna get hypothermia <laughs> I did a Pamela Reef or Rife I don't know how to say it I'm gonna say Reef 10 minute ab workout um and that was not that hard of course I did modify it to uh not be hard on my hips but it wasn't very bad um I've heard some of these fitness gurus have really hard ones, so I moved on to other ones the next day. So I did Alexis Wren one of the next days, and then Chloe Ting, um, and I'm not sure which exactly was um, the hardest one, but I definitely liked the Pamela Reef one the best. I did more of her workouts. Um, the Alexis Wren one was kind of boring, and Chloe Ting um, hurt my hips a bit more than the other ones, so... I did several more Pamela Reef ones later on. Um, So that's basically it for day one. Now I'm going to move on to what I did on day four. So running was starting to become more enjoyable. Like I said, I was trying to find the bright side in this. Um, And up until this, I was running every single day, doing all the same ab exercises, trying to do as much weightlifting as I could also. Um... And I don't know, I was starting to fall into a routine. It really helps being focused later on in the day when you have this whole routine. I wake up at six, six ish, usually go on my phone for a few minutes. Then I'm up at 630 out of bed in my running clothes and running by 630. 
then I run and stretch. So I'm usually done at about seven after I stretch because I usually come back around like 6 45 and then stretch so that's nice and sometimes I make a few TikToks outside if it's not too cold then I shower and eat breakfast and then I'm usually ready to start my day by 7 30 which is the normal time I'd start my day anyway but I also got exercise in so that's really good um I did have my my abs were kind of sore from some tough sets. I tried a different Pamela Reef one, um, and I think they were pretty thorough. I was feeling a lot stronger in my ab region, even though I feel like my abs are pretty strong. Um, I was also feeling less tired from eating a bit healthier. I'm trying to cut down portion size on my sweets, like eating just the same amount and everything else, because, I don't know, I, I feel like I eat a fine amount but on my sweets you know you can always eat a bit less sugar um but I was working out relatively intense every day so I was feeling a bit better um I started to not hate running as much it helped to clear my mind and prepare for the day it's also nice to get out of the house because up until yesterday um I hadn't left the house whatsoever besides like running of course in 6 weeks which is crazy and of course we did go out just to get groceries nothing like extra you know unimportant we needed groceries we were careful that was the absolute least we could go out 6 weeks is nuts <laughs> of course we were getting like pickup orders and delivery but those were still pretty limited um we didn't have to go out for them though so six weeks is not I can't believe like wow I can't wait to tell my kids that last year I went to Florida for six weeks I was you know that was the longest I'd been out of my house and then just one short year later the longest I'd been stuck in my house was six weeks like that is crazy that I didn't even leave whatsoever so yeah still kind of trying to get over that it is a really really long time to be asked to stay home but I mean it's for the best um, keeping everybody well so um, I was starting to feel like I would complete the challenge I was trying really hard but I didn't know if I was going to see results in the end um, so I mean that's okay if you don't see results as long as you feel results or if you feel like you can persevere until you do see results um, Results are definitely motivating, though, like I said. So, on day seven, I had been looking forward to running every day, which was really nice. Um, I wasn't focusing on the time as much as keeping a consistent pace, which is really important when you're running. Because it's pretty easy to just run really fast and then stop and walk and then run really fast again. If you have ever um, been competitively running, like on track or cross country, you would know that you are pushed to run as fast as you can and if you take a break you probably just walk you don't really slow down it's not much of a thing especially in high school um I wasn't um well I was thinking of adding another lap to make it three miles as a challenge because if you go around the lap um on the cul-de-sac another time it makes it a a bit more than three miles actually I never actually did that because I always would think about it and then I get there and just be like you know not today I mean it was good enough for me to be running two miles and just more than that seemed like too much you know um too much of a sacrifice for being tired um I have been bored doing the app video so I was enjoying doing my own routine again um, because it doesn't hurt my hips. I do a lot of different um, variety of things that are more focused on like planks and static exercises because um, moving exercises are pretty painful when I have to extend my legs and stuff like that. So I've been trying to stay away from those. Um, also, I wasn't eating as well as I should have been. I was trying to improve though because my mom makes baked goods every day and it's really hard to stay out of them. I always allow myself to have at least one, unless I don't want it, which is pretty rare. Um, but, you know, it's kind of hard when you're trying to... I mean, I was doing it for YouTube. I wasn't doing it to find any um, results or anything. Just for fun, see if I could do it. Um, 
I was also thinking about doing my own, like making my own 10 minute ab routine video. So definitely let me know if you guys want me to share my own 10 minute ab routine. Even though my ab routine is a bit longer than 10 minutes, I can shorten it. But yeah, I really love making out my own workouts because they usually end up making me feel the best because it's curated exactly to me. Um, I'm still drinking 100 ounces of water daily. That's one thing I didn't mention. Every single day during this challenge, I um, drank 100 ounces of water, um, which is three liters just about. Um, and I just have three bottles well one bottle that I try to drink three times which isn't too hard I mean if you put your mind to it I try to drink one bottle before lunch one bottle between lunch and dinner and then one bottle after dinner because we eat dinner pretty early so it's not too hard to do that and that usually helps me um stick to it and get 100 ounces so hopefully that is helping out my kidneys too if you know about my kidney stones and everything so, um, day 11, my mom wanted me to take break from running. She thought I was pale and I was a bit tired, so I took a few days off because we were afraid that it could have been coronavirus. I know a lot of people just get the silent cases, um, but I turned out to be fine. Um, she still wants me to not run every single day just to, I don't know, keep my immune system up or something. And I mean, I respect that. Um, but I would like to be able to go a bit more often than she wants me to. I think that's okay, though. Um, also, I was still doing ab workouts and weightlifting almost every day and doing my own routine. Um, I had to run on the treadmill one day. Oh, actually two days, I think, because it snowed, which I was very, very annoyed with because it is spring. It's almost May, and I really, really, really don't like running on the treadmill like I said before it's just so boring and even if I watch tv it's the temptation is too real to get off and sit on the couch so I'm not the biggest fan of the treadmill I'm thinking about um trying to do a challenge where I do the exercise bike every day um which we have one so it might be fun to try out but um often when I do the exercise bike it hurts my hips um and my knees so I don't know if there's a way that I can do it that it wouldn't hurt but that might be a fun challenge to try if I can sort that out um I did have a cheat day and I ate a few more sweets than I should have whoops I mean it happens and I at that point was starting to think that I was gonna make this fitness journey a bit longer so I wasn't being so strict on exactly everything that I ate because it's a lot harder to um you know find results in two weeks than it is in you know three four weeks so it, you can be a bit more lax I would say every so often um so I guess that brings me to day 14 um I was really enjoying running a lot more and getting a lot better at it I was enjoying it um you know when you start a new sport, especially running, and you just really can't get into it, I was starting to get into the groove, and I wouldn't go as far to say that I was getting a runner high, but after that, it, I don't know, I would just always feel good after running. I hate during it, but it's really not so bad, not as bad as it used to be, especially during cross country, when they're like pushing you so hard to do hill sprints and everything which I hated with my entire life. All of my being hated hill sprints. Um, I was getting really motivated after I ran. It was a great way to start the day, like I said before. It just really kicked off my routine. Um, and I hadn't seen really any visible changes. I still haven't. Well, maybe a little bit, but I definitely feel healthier, more energetic. I'm just I might see some lines on my stomach, maybe, but, like, I don't really care that much about that. Um, just wanted to document, just to, you know, sometimes I'm curious about things, but I don't actually care, but I'm still curious, if you know what I mean. Um, so I decided to keep going with this because I really like how I'm feeling, um, being so active and having more of a routine. So I think it's been 
over three weeks since I started this and I've been running every two to three days. It's been a few days since I've ran now because it was cold and rainy and I just will not um, run when it's raining or snowing or below 30 degrees. Um, But it is like 60 out right now. It's not morning anymore but I mean I don't like running later in the day because then there's so many people out and If you're like me, then you would understand why, because um, I always look so gross when I'm running, and that's probably a pretty common problem, but I don't like going out with people. So, (laughs) I still get up really early in the morning to run, and I think it's really nice, especially on school days, to get out and clear my head before I have to sit down for a few hours and work. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just try to continue this as long as I feel as fit. It could be a new lifestyle for me. I think that would be really great to be, um, changing everything up and being a bit more healthy. It's really a good thing to focus on while we're all stuck at home because, um, health versus like video games or junk food. (laughs) You know what I mean? I mean, junk food is kind of hard to come by these days, but you know what I mean. So, um, I guess it's now time to talk about just what's been going on in day-to-day life. Um, let's see. Well, I told you I went out to the supermarket, which was really exciting. I also had to go to my school and pick up a book, um, for my English class, which was weird, and it's the last book of the year, so last time I will be going to my school for this year until September, which is pretty nice if I have to stay. Um, if you've been listening through all the episodes of my podcast, you would know that I'm not the biggest fan of um, in-person school. I really like online school a lot better. Speaking of online school, I finished my geometry course and signed up for my Algebra 2 course, and I was able to secure um, the same instructor, which I really like, so that'll be fun. Um, That'll be starting in a week or so, I think. I'll have my welcome meeting and just getting started with that, so I think it's really cool that I'm able to go so fast doing my online school and um, get really ahead on my math, because then I will be able to pack this in all summer and then I'll be going to pre-calc next year instead of just starting algebra 2 next year like most of my friends are doing so I think that's fun to um be able to um you know excel and also I think math is a lot more fun when it's self-directed I just find myself really not liking in-person math teachers they just kind of annoy me also sometimes they don't really explain stuff that much just just my opinion oftentimes they're kind of you know don't explain things too well but um what else has been going on in my life oh um I watched ready player one the other night which I read the book a few months ago and it was a really good book so I had high hopes for the movie and the movie was pretty good they didn't exactly follow the book's storyline entirely, which was kind of confusing, but it had the same general idea, so it was pretty cool. Um, so I definitely enjoyed that. Also, I um, watched Twilight last weekend, and that was fun. We ordered um, a whole set of all of the movies, so that is coming in a few days, and I'm super excited to watch all of the movies because um, last weekend... I was like, okay, so we watched the first one, and I read three of the books, so I'm just going to pack in the entire fourth book today, and I did not quite finish it. I'm about halfway through, which was pretty impressive for one day, but um, now I will have to finish that before I can watch the fourth and fifth movie, I think, are both from the fourth book, Um, so I've been enjoying that. Um, What else? Oh yeah, I've been getting into archery, which is fun, so... I have a target and a bow, and I haven't shot since, like, I don't know, it's been, like, two years, probably, but I got pretty into it, even though I have a compound bow, and it's 50 pounds, and I can hardly pull the string, um, but when I do pull the string, I'm not too bad, I mean, trying to figure it out, 
it is very fun though. I ordered a 12 pack of arrows a few days ago and I'm just waiting for those to come because all the arrows that I have have no tips and or are bent. <laughs> so can't really do very much with them. Um, but I'm excited for my arrows to come. Also, speaking of like shipping things, I've been pretty annoyed because I ordered some clothes from Romwe, I believe, and I ordered them on the 2nd and it is the 29th today and they haven't even been received by the U.S. Postal Service, which annoys me a lot because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for these clothes to come. And also, they sold me this item and I was super excited about it. And then they got back to me and they're like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, we don't have any more of those left. So I wish they kept a bit better stock um, of their items and track of how many they have. But I mean, it is what it is. I will still be getting my other items, hopefully eventually just waiting patiently for them to come um other than that i've been doing a lot of baking just general school work um not really too much exciting um having campfires of course exercising like i said um making lots and lots of videos for my youtube channel which you should definitely check out if you are not already subscribed and posting other content on TikTok, Instagram. Check out all of those at Rosie Revolts. Um, I guess that wraps things up. I guess I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye!